Mm. Holy shit. I need to do these at these car meets because it's cold right now. It is kind of cold right now. <laughs> what is going on fam? Welcome back to Adobe Moto. Today I got to walk around in my 2011 Honda CRZ case swap. Let's go. Oh yes. Okay, so I guess we'll start with the exterior. This is it. Uh, it has this little uh, lip lip spoiler uh, oh yeah that is the double stuck taped on yeah i could i could tell right there that it was uh not very well mounted but that's okay looks pretty cool that's the little radio antenna fin thing i would love to see if there's like a some kind of delete for that i think it's fucking ugly but how's these like stock mud flappy things i don't personally like them but hey they're stock. Moving on to this little little front lip. I don't know if this is like some kind of wrap or carbon fiber wannabe looking thing. Yeah, it's definitely not a wrap. Maybe it came with the uh, EX model. I think this is the uh, I think this is the 2011 EX. Didn't come with navigation, but it does have a subwoofer, which I'll show you guys in a minute. My fog lights are yellow, so I'm guessing they were tinted. Not sure Honda actually comes with factory yellow headlights. Obviously you got the projectors with the HIDs in there. I love this. I think I'm gonna upgrade it to like a JDM one, but the JDM ones are really expensive. The JDM ones have the red uh, emblem on them. Got a little chip in the hood, you know, for uh, character. One thing about these door handles, uh, I heard this is how you have to open it. Not like this, where you pull it from here. Kind of open it up right here and then grab the side because these, Apparently they're really fragile. Obviously I got the KRZ little emblem here. Uh, I'm gonna do something else with that. Probably take that off and uh, you guys will see, you guys will see. So again on the uh, on the rear has this little, I don't know what this is, like diffuser, but it's like this carbon style thing. It's plastic. I, I looked at the other dudes um, CRZs and they didn't have this. Maybe it was just the EX model in 2011. It does look a little bit cooler though, to be honest. All right, moving on to the wheels. These are, I believe, these are HPD wheels, but correct me if I'm wrong. I do have a fifth one, it's in the shed. I might go back and, and look at that so I can show you guys, but these are made by N-Keys, N-K, N-K-E. But yeah, it looks like these are like painted or powder coated some kind of uh, bronze color and obviously the KRZ sticker right there. If I keep these wheels, I might change the color of these. Uh, I really like the Type R white on white look, um, so I might do that. And then the tires, they are Dunlop Signature HPs. These tires are a 215-45 R17. Um, I would like to go like 16 by eight. I think these are 17 by seven. So again, this car is very clean for a 2011 with 11,000 miles. All right, we're moving on to the interior. This is the trunk. So it is pretty roomy. This one does have the uh, subwoofer. This is the mat. Uh, stock CRZ mat. Pretty nice, actually, for, for a floor mat. Now, this is where my donut lives, but uh, yeah, obviously I took it out. I don't know what's under that, though. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like where the battery goes? I'm not sure. But, but this no longer has an IMA, so this deal's pretty cool. Obviously, a lot of hatchbacks have them. And I don't know why it has the ability to go in the middle like that and do like this deal <laughs> yeah i don't i don't understand that but i guess it might have a use who knows 
So the back of this is pretty cool. This thing comes down. There's a latch here right in the middle. You just kind of pull this down. And then you can stick stuff in here. And it's like a little storage space for your shit. This is pretty hefty too. So I think what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna strip the shit out of this back, do some weight. All right, so if I'm being completely honest, I'm not a fan of this interior. The uh, gray on black, I think it's kind of cheap looking. I wish they would have just made the full interior just black. I don't like the two-tone. I get it. No, I, I actually don't get it. It's, it's fucking ugly. It's ugly as shit, but I'm not gonna waste money trying to uh, convert it to the black. If anything, I'll, I'll spray. Nah, I probably won't even do that, but if there's a way to dye plastic and to dye like, uh, yeah, I just, I gotta do something about this interior, but I, I'm really cheap and uh, I don't wanna spend too much on, on cosmetic shit. I will say these seats are very cool. They got the KRZ little embroidery right there and uh, these actually don't move up, maybe. I'm not exactly sure if these, these things actually go up, but it looks like, looks like they might. All right, so I will say that the bolstering on these seats are actually, if you're thin, they're, not, they're just not very good. Also in the front here, it has a bolt, but on the back, it looks like it's like no bolt. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There is a bolt. So I was talking to Austin and he said like, there's no way to get these seats out, but looks like there's bolts on all four sides. That kind of forget what I was about to say. The pedals are actually pretty freaking awesome. Uh, the brake and the the gas are very close together. I wish I had bigger feet, but you can see that. You could totally heel toe. Reminds me of a Subaru, uh, Subaru pedals. Very, very crisp. The shifter is actually pretty awesome. The throws are really short and uh, even finding fifth gear is super easy. Um, I've never had issues. I actually enjoy this shifter more than I enjoy my uh, Focus RS shifter. This glue right here is starting to come apart, so I'm probably gonna definitely do something about probably definitely, Jesus. All right, so we're under the hood now, and this is the K20Z3 with the uh, matching tranny LSD. It obviously has a Type R uh, flywheel and a dual disc uh, clutch. When LHC actually bought this car, they didn't have axles, so LHC had to custom make axles for this car. And uh, the previous owner found a leak in them and replaced them with the 1,000 horsepower uh, half-sport axles, so it has those. I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but there's a hole in there in that air box, and uh, that looks like it's the uh, brake booster or the uh, brake master cylinder. There it is right there. You guys see that? <laughs> now it does have a full size radiator and it's all aluminum, which is super nice. I don't want to replace that. I hate plastic radiators. All right, now I'm not exactly sure if this is a Type R valve cover or if it was just uh, powder coated red, but it's actually in really, really good condition still considering how old it is. But of course, car doesn't have very much miles anyway. All right, so that's the custom made uh, exhaust tip. Actually, I think this whole car is a full custom exhaust. Uh, I've looked underneath and I'll show you guys in a little bit. It actually looks really good underneath. And um, obviously this car has custom headers as well. All right, that is part of the exhaust right there. All right, so those are the HPD suspension upgrade. It's like a $1,200 upgrade, but um, yeah, it makes the car super stiff. Well, not super stiff, but you know, Somewhat stiff, stiffer, stiffest, stiffiest. So that's the driver's side part of the exhaust. There's like this weird thing that is like welded on. You guys see that? It's kind of like, I don't know what the fuck it is, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. I think that's the cat and it goes like here and it's capped off. So yeah. Okay, that is it. That's the 2011 KRZ CRZ by LHT performance. Hope you guys like this video.